Oh yeah, because it's broken. <laughs> ah. We should put it in the green there, and then we can just wheel it in. And then when the rain stops, we can wheel it back out again. Anyway, it's just me overthinking it again then, obviously. So we're down the land this evening, tidying away all the bits of wood that are sitting exposed to the elements because this evening or tonight, we are expecting some rain. <laughs> so that'll be the first rains since June. Mid-June Mid -June oh, yeah. was the last time we had rain. So, uh, so yeah, so quite exciting. But then we got to thinking, but we've got quite a lot of things around the land which could potentially get a little bit wet that shouldn't get a little bit wet. Just things like this, really. So we're doing a bit of a quick tidy up um, and hopefully you might get a bit of rain tonight, which would be quite nice. At least we'll get that solar panel cleaned. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So I figured behind the sofa, just there where the rest of that wood is, it's quite an out of the way place. Yeah. So on our way into Castello Branco today, we were very lucky to be able to pick up a couple of rugs on the way. They were a curbside find placed outside a bin just on a local village to us here, um, unclaimed. So really nice quality, both of them actually. This one at the front here, um, a little bit musty maybe, but, uh, but still really usable. The one on the back, prior to them throwing it away, they'd actually given it a wash as well. And you could actually still smell the detergent in the rug itself. So clean as anything. So what we're gonna do is we're also gonna get these into our garden house as well. Uh, yeah, waste not, want not, eh? Rather than having it going into landfill, which would be an absolute waste of these two rugs, we're actually gonna be able to use them. So that'll be really nice. Both really nice quality, really good find. Wow, look at that. They'd be like, you must be rich for me like that. We get it from the bins. Look at that, mad. So really pleased with that rug on the floor there. Absolutely beautiful, lovely colors. And we also got this one as well, which is pretty cool. And uh, I think this will look really nice in my office area, which is where Elaine is at the moment. So uh, yeah, I'll pop that one over there. Just in case the rain does come and we're really fingers crossed that it does, I'm gonna clean out the gutter because it's had all summer with all of these pine trees dropping their needles onto it. So I'm just pushing anything along. So that seems to be working quite well. I'm just gonna climb up and get those out. Ooh. 
Yeah, I think it needed doing. <laughs> That's all clear. I mean, there's loads on the roof, so <laughs> if it does rain heavily and it washes them all in, we'll have to make sure we come back and clear that out again tomorrow. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Big rain. They're huge raindrops. You can literally see each individual one dropping. Well, we haven't seen that site for a while, have we? No. Good morning, and we're back again. We've been working when it hasn't been raining. So we have, we did get our couple of days of forecast rain, which has been lovely. Everything just feels refreshed. Everything feels cleaner, except the muddy bits. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, the air's clearer. So what we've been doing is putting up the framing for the deck. Because we had the wood, we decided to go with doing the whole structure for the deck and our job today now that it's dried off is to get it all protected so we've got little paint dance and some brushes and we're going to get on and give everything a good coat so that it is protected for time to come. So as Elaine said, we've been getting down the land in between the rains to try and do a little bit of work on the decking, which we've now put together the framing for, which is looking really, really good. So we've got all of the framing in place now, pretty much, I think. As Elaine also said, we're now going to paint that. But I thought whilst we're, just before we get started on that, show you a little bit around how the rains have changed the landscape, I suppose. Just a little, few little things I was thinking of. So just down here, for example, where we put all this hay down for our, uh, for our pumpkin patch, looking really, really good. So that rain's gonna help put all of that nutrients into the ground. Uh, we, put some, we put some compost down there. We put some chicken manure down there. And then we've covered that with uh, hay. Hopefully that all just nicely soak in now that the rain's happened. And we'll be able to get some things growing in there very soon. That's something we're starting to think about now as well, is actually getting things in the ground and growing. So yeah, so we have this IBC next to our decking or next to the side of our house just up here. Uh, the water from the roof is coming down and going into that IBC. Elaine's just said that that's nearly full now. So we can now transfer that water from there down our overflow pipe into these two IBCs here. So uh, yeah, with, with the rain comes nice full IBCs, very nice. And also down here where our, where our pond area or lake area is, that water's probably doubled in volume to what it was, I don't know, maybe a few days ago. So that's actually looking really, really good too. Still got quite a long way to go before it actually fills up, but, uh, but it's on its way. So that's really good. I think the forecast for the next couple of days is um, it's gonna be dry, isn't it? Dry. Yeah, it's dry for the next couple of days. So whilst we've had the rain, at least we've been able to collect some water. Okay, so that's the morning's work done. All of our baseboard decking has now been treated and preserved. Elaine's just finishing off all of the little bits that we've missed. Uh, but yeah, that was just like a couple of hours it took to do all of that, so that's not bad at all. 
So we're going to let it dry now, let it uh, sink in. And then this afternoon, we'll probably come back and we'll start to put the decking boards down. And that'll be quite a nice, quite a nice point in the build because that'll be quite quick. I feel that putting the decking boards down is quite a quick job. Once we've got the first one down, at least nice and straight. So off to lunch and uh, we'll catch you when we get back. And there we are done. So, decking for the shower toilet is complete. So that's been a good day's work. Um, we've got it all protected. And then we've got our decking cut and put down. It's really nice after wobbling around outside the front of the garden house on the black plastic being slippy and the ground being uneven. It's really nice just to have a very, even if it's a small piece where it's flat and it's even and it's sturdy. So good. All we need now is lots more decking to continue on along the front of the garden house. That should be easier because we've built it. Um, the size that the decking comes in is pretty much, well, it's supposed to be 210 centimetres, but we found with these ones, it's somewhere between 209 and 211. So my plan here was for 105, didn't quite work out, but we've jiggled it around. So we made the base 200 centimetres outside the garden house. So our 210, all variations thereof, should work well. And here's the other worker coming in <laughs> with the lovely coffee. Sitting on our new decking. Yep. Not sure which one's yours. I think it's this one. Oh, okay. <laughs> lovely. It must be very hot. Obviously, I've just got it out of the kettle. Hmm, right. good. So right we one? deserve a coffee now. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So I think that's about it, isn't it? For today, yeah. 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 I think we're pretty done. Yeah. We still need to source something to make the walls on the shower, the two walls, and then something for the door. Um but that's another day. So yeah. Hiya, Maxie. Maxie's had a lovely sleep inside the garden house, haven't you? You come to check out the work? Yeah, come on then, up you come. Is it looking fine? Well, this is looking really good, Ma. Oh, he's after a drink. We'll go get him a drink and we'll catch you soon. <laughs> yes, I'll come and get you a drink. I will, I'll get you a lovely drink because you're a thirsty dog, aren't you? Thirsty boy. Yeah? Come on then. You're just waiting to get in there, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> we were out today and I managed to buy some starter plants, some plug plants. Not a lot. Um, available because it's early in this autumn season, just the beginning of September. What I did manage to get was some broccoli, uh, some, co no, some cabbage, some lettuce and some parsley. And what I want to do is get those in the ground while they're still all fresh, just from the shop today. I also have my seed tray out. I want to get some things, set some seeds away. And I also want to plant some seeds in one of the veggie gar planters, um, carrots and beetroot and turnips, all the roots. I'm going to make that my root planter for this winter season. So just going to get on, get them put in and get them watered. And then what I've done for the pumpkin patch, 
which you can't see because there's a big car in the way, is I've got some beans, some broad beans, fava beans, and they're going to be planted directly in and uh, hopefully they will help boost the nitrogen in the soil for next year's pumpkins to be more successful. These are the lettuce that I've chosen. It's like a frilly variety. This one is just all green and this one has like a red blush on some of the leaves. Six cents each. So in UK that would be like less than, be about five pence. It's not really worth putting the seeds into the compost and hoping for the best. These are strong and they, I know that they're gonna grow in this environment because they're all local. Portuguese varieties. I'm just spreading them out and I'm trying to sort of alternate a green one with a coloured one to make a bit of a pattern when they grow. And I've got a few left, I'm just going to plant them somewhere else, just in case anything happens to all of these. And I've got a pair of old holy wellies that I wore when we first came here, because it's been almost a year. So I thought it might be fun to fill these with compost and plant some of my parsley or salsa, as it's called here in Portugal. There we go. Sorry if it smells, but I think he'll grow nicely in there. There we go. I'm always amazed how such a tiny seed can produce a huge plant and a plant that feeds you as well. So this is my rocket. I'm just going to do two rows of rocket and then two rows of the, um, the other lettuce and that'll be that bed full. It's a bit thick, but I'll thin them out later on. Okay, all done. Then. Carrots, turnip, beetroot, radishes, all the roots, or well, hopefully all the roots. I just like it wet first because the seeds are so tiny that you might wash them all into one side, so it's just easier.
I'm just going to crack on and keep putting my plants in but thank you very much for spending some time with us I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen please remember to give us a like and we will see you on the, on next, the next one, one. take care everyone bye bye <laughs>